Hey everybody, happy Halloween. We are here at Spirit Halloween for one last trip. So, uh, you know, let's get inside and see. I know usually this time a lot of stuff has been picked clean. A lot of the animatronics are put away, but you never know. Sometimes there's a, a nugget of gold just waiting for you. So let's go. <laughs> All right, yeah, check it out. A lot of the animatronics in the middle are removed. This is neat. I like how they still have the uh, the gun here for the shooting gallery. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet prop. You know someone that works here is going to take this sucker home. I don't know what you do with it, but it's still a cool prop. Ladies and gentlemen, there it yeah. is. The ladies from Spirit Halloween. <laughs> uh, happy Halloween 2024. Was it a good year? Yes. Oh, yeah. Spirit. <laughs> spirit, spirit, spirit. Right here. <laughs> well, you know, I love this store and it brings me such joy and sadness because it's the last day and you can see all the things are kind of, uh, you know, going away. Um, but yeah, like, check this out right here. Uh, I'm in the signage section. A lot of good signage. I've gotten so much great signage. Love that Elm Street, got that uh, from this place. But look, right over here. We got us some bobbleheads, y'all. They actually have Elvira. This one's very hard to come by. As you can see there's a little uh, crunch in the box there at the top, but that uh, that's not really going to dissuade me. Um, this is a this is a hot item and hard to get a hold of. So uh, Elvira's probably coming home with me. <laughs> you wish, Huck. Oh yeah, got them door covers over it. These door covers are great, y'all. Honestly, don't sleep in these door covers. They are made of fabric and cloth, so they're stretchable, and they fit perfectly over your door. I've got four of these already, and they're fantastic. Like right here, this is one of my favorites. You got the uh, Mars Attacks. The colors on this thing are so fantastic. This looks absolutely stunning on the door. I've also got this bad boy right here. I got Frankenstein. I've got... Um, ghost face and of course i've got the beetlejuice one so yeah guys if you want a really cool door cover that looks excellent get one of these they're great and they got so many great ones to choose from look they even got hannibal lecter behind this hat oh and this always happens when you get near the very very end there's usually no freddy gloves of any kind left they even got a few uh shirts and a couple of costumes. Got a little medium right there, Huck, if you want to go as old Kruger one year. Uh-huh. Yeah, got a couple here. It's an extra small. Now, both of these boxes are pretty trashed. It looks like people have opened them and pulled them out. This one's really wrecked, you know? And the thing is, you know, I just really want the glove. Like, I would trash this box. I wonder if they do, like, half price because the box is wrecked. <laughs> Never know until you ask. I'm gonna ask. Oh man, you still got the popcorn guns for killer clowns. Those are on the pricey side. They're like a hundred bucks. So I can see, you know, economy is a little rough. These are not the go-to things, but you got one more killer clown outfit. If you want to go as your favorite killer clown. And in this case, it better be Jumbo. And look, if you want to be mistaken for a Spirit Halloween employee like I do, because I'm wearing one of these shirts, come get these. I love their logo. I think this logo is actually absolutely boss. Got a couple of extra larges here. So, you know, if you want to join me in looking like a, an employee. <laughs> Ooh, these are nice. Look at that. A little gold with some sparkle around it. It's like a little zipper shirt because it's getting cold out, y'all. Totally rad. Oh, look, they still have the bride from the Corpse Bride here. Man, she looks great, doesn't she? Look at the detail on that. So good. Oh, you can't go wrong. They got all their dope looking uh, gravestones here. You know, everybody needs some good gravestones in their yard for Halloween. So well, come and get them, y'all. And look, if you come back tomorrow and the next day, I think it's 25% off and then 50% off, something like that. And look, these things are usually here in plenty full supply. So get out tomorrow and the next day those are the only two other days i believe that's usually how it is that they're open uh, and you get good discounts so come get these 
Hey guys, I'm with Gigi, and look, you know, this is my favorite store. I'm even working mm -hmm. the You're... swag. People have stopped me three times yeah. to ask me where something is. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, look. Uh, so, what's been the biggest seller this year, costume-wise and then um, animatronic-wise? Mm -hmm. I would say costume-wise would definitely be the Beetlejuice, because of the new movie, a lot mm -hmm. of people have gotten that. And then nice. animatronic-wise, you know the big, the ghost that, like, has a knife that goes up and down? Yeah, yeah, That one's been a big seller, too. Sure. And the ghost face. Yeah. How did the um, the uh, the Coach Bride and they did really good. They yeah. sold out a lot. Yeah, I see. You still got the bride out yes. there. Is that probably the last one? Yes, or something? it is. Four we had bottle? to bring a lot from different stores. Oh my goodness! Yes. All right. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween, Let's guys. get. I'll oh, go out and get your last minute gets right. Exactly. Oh yeah, dig it. My Camp Crystal Lake section. I'm actually rocking the uh, Camp Crystal Lake jacket as we speak. See F13. He's got a little uh, Jason Voorhees mask on the back. Um, I'm looking to see if they have any. Yeah, you know, you come in the last day, a lot of the, the real good IP merch gets sold out. A lot of the, the ball caps and things like that. So you got to kind of, you got to kind of snag those during, while they're open, near the end, that kind of stuff just goes bye-bye. So, <laughs> good thing I got this jacket, y'all. That's kind of cool. They got the, uh, look at that little deluxe Sam mask from Trick or Treat. Uh, this is such a good anthology horror movie. So good. Oh yeah, look at this man. All real burlap, not like cheesy fabric or nothing. That's pretty cool. This might be another one of those cool things to get tomorrow or, you know, the day after if it's still here. <laughs> like if you want the cheap version, though, they just got like a little, uh, little mask pulls over your head, <laughs> pulls over your head. That works. Check it out over here in the corner. We do got some of these bagged costumes. We got a little uh, Michael Myers still. That's pretty impressive. So if you want the jumpsuit, the mask, the knife, they still got all that. The one thing I still have never grabbed for myself when coming here is the ghost face stuff. Because I went I went Beetlejuice this year and, and uh, Ghostbusters last year. So I think next year, when I come to Spirit Halloween, put me down, hold me accountable, I'm gonna finally get the scream stuff. We actually have a couple of chrome ghost faces uh, left in stock. No white ones, but we also have the knives and the bloody knives. So maybe uh, when I pop back in tomorrow or the next day for those extra discounts, um, maybe I'll get these ahead of time because it'd be nice to save on sort of the props. Um, I don't know, I don't want old chromey. Chromie is a nice gimmick, but you know, for me, I gotta go like pure white, the, the actual white ghost face or the real crunchy one from the latest movie. It's gotta be one of those two. Yeah, I need makeup for uh, the old costume tonight. Probably gonna do the complete Beetlejuice. I got the costume, the wig and everything, but uh, I need the makeup to make the full effect. <laughs> oh, that music's pumping, y'all. All right, here's a little uh, makeup department right there. Uh, definitely need to snag some uh, makeup for my costume tonight. Probably gonna do the complete Beetlejuice. Now here's another fun thing. If you want to just go as a, the Alec Baldwin character, Adam Maitland, yeah, you got the glasses, the shirt, and that's the one I would get. It's a medium. Uh, I am doing Beetlejuice this year, but oh, that's a that's a rad jacket. It's just a cool jacket in general. <laughs> it's showtime. And you know, even with the popularity of Beetlejuice, uh, they still have a really good section here. And there's actually like more stuff here than I would think. I, I figured with the popularity of the sequel, this would be a little bit more picked clean, but these are here every single year. So uh, I guess that's not too unexpected. But I mean, come on, you gotta love that sign. Hey, how's it going? It's showtime. I also love this Lydia Dietz sign. Very, very cool. You guys got uh, October 31st, 1988, the year Beetlejuice was released. You got these cups, y'all. Almost took my eyeball out with that thing. This place is dangerous. Check it out. They got the Harry Potter Monster Book of Monsters. Let's see. Where is this? Is it open? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still got a couple of cool bags. It's very funny because I'm sporting a knit bag right now. Let's definitely add uh, Trick or Treat. <laughs> Love this movie. Just saw it for the first time. 
All right, we gotta take a quick peek at the jewelry section. My wife is dressed typically uh, every Halloween. She goes as a cat, and she said she needs some uh, kitty cat earrings. So uh, I'm gonna look around. I'm not seeing any, but. I'll dig through here and see if we get lucky. All right, gang. Well, that is going to do it. Our very last run to Spirit Halloween. It was really just to go and say bye to everybody and see you next year and all that stuff. Uh, but I did grab just, you know, nothing super exciting, but stuff for my Beetlejuice costume. So got the white makeup, got the green makeup because you got to do the moss, right? Uh, and then there's the black and more white. So for the eye sockets and stuff like that. Uh, and for my wife, my lovely wife, she needs some kitty cat earrings. You can kind of see them there. Come on, flip around. Anyway, there they are. So I've got some cat earrings. Um, to add to my tote bag collection, now that I've seen Trick or Treat and I'm a huge fan, oh yeah, snag me a Trick or Treat bag. Same on both sides. And the coup de gras, the thing that was a hot seller, is the Elvira bobblehead. Yes, the... <laughs> I know she looks great, y'all. Uh, the box is in pretty good shape. There's some... Let's see, I don't know if you can kind of see... Um, let's see, see if you can see, yeah, see that right there? There you go. So there, there was some little like dents in it, like the, like the box was resting on something right there, like that the lights there, um, you know, a few munches at the top, but you know, uh, I did open this up and, and it was still, the, the styrofoam was still taped all the way around the bobble head. So it has not been removed. So there you go, y'all. That is it. That is my final run of Spirit Halloween. I hope you all have a, a happy Halloween if you've already had it. I hope it was great. I hope you've enjoyed the month of October as much as I have. I've been watching a ton of movies and getting some goodies at Spirit, Spirit Halloween. So it has indeed been a fantastic October. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Halloween and all that good stuff. If you're new to my channel and this brought you here, thank you so much. Get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smack the bell, leave a comment, share it with all your friends and all that good stuff. So until next time, ho oh, ho, happy Halloween.